Good morning, Falcons. It is Wednesday, March the 18th, and welcome to a Falcon Day. We're making history, ladies and gentlemen. The first Falcon Day in the history of Summit Middle School. And also, this is episode one of a series of shows that we will call The Summit Show, ladies and gentlemen. The Summit Show purpose is to provide a daily video news and variety show with rotating features designed to maintain connections and relationships amongst staff members and students in our school community. We hope to do so in a lighthearted fashion. Yeah, today is Wednesday, March 18th, and uh, the forecast today does not look great. In fact, we are looking at uh, some possibility of some rain. Uh, about a high of 48 degrees, pretty good chance of rain as we move through the day. Um, you know, still probably some opportunities to get outside, get moving. Uh, get uh, our lungs full of some fresh air but um, looks like we might get warmed up here this weekend even Friday like 62 degrees so we got that to look forward to I'm going to transition into at this time a rotating feature that we will call Falcon News. Oftentimes our Falcon News segment will deal with news in our school community, but today we're going to focus on a feel-good story out of our own city here, Fort Wayne. Falcon News, we've got some Falcons who are living in uh, atop a building in our community. Let's hear more. Dateline March 18th, Fort Wayne, Indiana. A pair of eggs have been found in the Peregrine Falcon nest atop the Indiana Michigan Power Center. The power company said Tuesday that the eggs were recently viewed through INM's Falcon Cam. They are presumed to be Jamie, male, and Moxie, female. If confirmed, the eggs bring to at least 25, the number Jamie and Moxie have laid since taking up residence on the Fort Wayne's tallest building in 2013. A nesting box was installed atop the building, previously known as One Summit Square in 1996. Since, nearly 60 falcon chicks have hatched there. The falcon eggs generally hatch about a month after eggs are laid, and the young birds take their first flights at about six weeks of age. Once the falcons reach an appropriate age, i and will work with the Indiana Department of Natural Resources to name and ban each falcon. A great story about Jamie and Moxie, and uh, that's so awesome that they're laying eggs atop one summit square. At this time, I'm going to transition to a piece that features our wonderful guidance counselor, Ms. Miller, and she is eager to connect with you, and she has a message also that she's going to share on self-care during uh, this time of uncertainty. Friends, I hope e-learning's going really well for you so far. Hey, I just want to do something kind of silly to say hello. Obviously, it's me, Miss Miller, and I miss seeing you guys in the hallway and at lunch and everything, so I thought I would just give a quick shout-out, let you know if you need anything. We're still here. Here's the other way. Good morning, Summit. Hey, it's Miss Miller with my munchkins here. We are here to talk to you today about who you can be talking to at the time where we don't get to see each other socializing as much as we used to, okay? Now, we have lots of options here. Luckily, we still get to talk through Canvas and through Zoom and lots of different options, but we also hopefully have people and maybe even animals at home that we can talk to, okay? So, why don't you tell us who we have? Anna. Anna's our kitty. This here is Petal. She's our big old bunny. Who do you have? Oh, she's... We also have a dog, but she's crazy. <laughs> she's 
She's a little crazy, and she and Petal don't really get along so well. Yeah. So instead, this teddy here is called Grandpa Ted. And you can also talk to stuffy animals instead of animals. That's right. So if you don't have a furry friend or a pet at home, technically, you can always talk to your stuffed animals. You guys who have been to my office know that we have Dory that sometimes we play with and get to see swimming around. She's here with us at home, too, so she's safe, I promise. Um, but we wanted to remind you guys that you have lots of different avenues and people and animals and things you can talk to during this time of um, being at home for a few weeks. Go ahead. And for sure you can talk to your pet, maybe your mom even, and your dad. That's right. Your parents are good sources of strength, your pets, your friends, and your family. Okay? Don't forget, guys, we're still in this together. Okay? I know your teachers are reaching out to you. Counselors care. Principals mm -hmm. care. Um, we just get lots of extra family time. So hopefully you guys are rocking along with your e-learning. And again, remember to take some breaks. Okay? It's really important. Um, if you have pets around... It's good not only for you, but also for them to show them a little bit of extra love over these weeks of e-learning, okay? So show them that love, feel that support. Um, not only are they teaching us responsibility, but we get to, you know, socialize with them, which is pretty cool. What do you guys like best about pets? Um, I like that you get to pet and, like, um, pet, play, talk, yeah. like some of those things. So you can, I like, like, actually physically touch them yes. and talk to them. They yes. listen pretty good, don't they? I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like pets because they actually listen with what you say sometimes. That's right. Sometimes friends can argue with us or disagree yes. or start to make it about themselves. And then sometimes when you need when you need somebody to talk to and your parents are out of town and your babysitter, you, you can just talk to your pet about it. Yeah. Or sometimes you just want to talk to somebody just kind of in privacy, right? And pets are really good about that. So again, if you don't have any pets, maybe a neighbor close by does. Or you can just think about Dory or a stuffed animal you might have in your room. Yeah, go ahead. Um, and um, you might want to talk to your teacher but on Zoom, but don't come to school if you don't have to. That's right. E-learning means stay home and stay safe. So, mm -hmm. soak up that family time. I'm sure your pets are going to love it. Um, enjoy your brother and sister time and hopefully your parents too, right? So, we hope everybody has an awesome e-learning experience and that you're enjoying your time at home. Yeah, go ahead. Um, uh, and, um... Go ahead. Um, and work hard. Oh, I love that. What do you want to tell them? And sometimes when you... For sure. There's only sometimes... When your pet's not really listening, well, then go, then go get your stuffed animal. There's always backup plan. Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, guys, from the Miller household, we hope you're doing a great, great time. If you need anything, you reach out to me, okay? Um, and you can always go cuddle with your stuffed animals if you don't, like, feel good or something. Or if you just want to go cuddle and, like... Um, if your babysitter, like, doesn't want to, like, if she's watching TV, you could just go cuddle with your stuffed animals. There you go. Millers are full of ideas, and we're talkers, believe it or not, right? All right, guys. I miss you, and I hope things are going well. Toodles from the Millers. It's great to hear from Miss Miller and her beautiful family. Reminder to students that you can reach out to Miss Miller through Canvas messages, and as she suggested, she'd love to hear from you. Now we're gonna to transition to a piece uh, from Miss Kataka, who is our Media Center Assistant, and she's gonna recommend a great book, and also uh, the movie that corresponds to this book. Miss Kataka. Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Kataka coming at you from a very empty Summit Middle School. We are on day three of social distancing, so I wanted to share with you guys a book that you could read while you are stuck at home. So I know a lot of you have read this already. We have a very well-loved copy in the library, but this is Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. And the reason I wanna highlight this book is because a new movie 
called Star Girl was just released on Disney Plus on Friday. So while you're stuck at home on a Falcon Day, you could compare the book to the movie if you've read the book already. If you haven't read the book, now would be a great time to do so. So I'm gonna read the back of it so you guys know a little bit of what it's about. So it says, from the day she arrives at a quiet Micah High in a burst of color and sound, the hallways hum with the murmur of Star Girl, Star Girl. She captures Leo Borlock's heart with just one smile. She sparks a school spirit revolution with just one cheer. The students of Micah High are enchanted at first. Then they turn on her. Star Girl is suddenly shunned for everything that makes her different. And Leo, panicked and desperate with love, urges her to become the very thing that can destroy her, normal. So this is an awesome book to read while you are stuck at home. And it also has a sequel. So if you love the first one, check out the second one. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing Falcon Day. We miss you here at Summit. Stay safe. Bye. Thanks so much, Ms. Kataka. Ms. Kataka's book recommendations are always spot on. Now we're going to transition to another piece that we have worked on, and it's a segment that we like to call Farm Life. Starring Summit's very own assistant principal, Mr. Persley. Good morning, Falcons. Mr. Persley here. We're starting a new feature on morning announcements. Today, I'm going to show you a little bit what I like to do when I'm not at school. I'll give you a quick tour of the barn. We're calling this Farm Life, and we'll have a couple different episodes. Come along. Let's go check. Well, here we are. This is our barn. It's an 18 stall horse barn. We have a number of people that keep their horses here. We have one horse of our own as well. I'm gonna show you a few different items in the barn here in just a minute. This is my friend, Emma. Emma, can you say hi? Or maybe not. I hand Emma off to my assistant. Take a walk with me here. A couple of features to point out. This is our wash bay where horses will get their bath hot and cold water. Over this way, we have a tack room where people keep saddles and bridles and such. And down this way is our riding arena where people will ride, especially when the weather's not very nice. And we'll show you a shot of that in just a minute. So here we are again, Falcons. This is our riding arena. This is my daughter, Oakley. She's riding silk. Again, this is where people will ride uh, throughout the year, but especially in the winter months when it's muddy outside. Oakley takes silk a while. Silk is a Clydesdale saddlebred cross. She's approximately 26 years old. Kind of a been there, done that type horse, and she does a great job. Oakley's planning on showing Silk in 4-H this year, which we go to the Whitley County Fair that occurs in July. All right, Falcons, well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the farm. An upcoming segment will bring you a couple other features that we didn't have time for today. As we wrap things up, I want you to start thinking about how you can find some time to get outside and unplug, so to speak. Um, we created our e-learning, extended e-learning plans with limiting screen time in mind. Uh, Falcon Day is one example of that, and your teachers are working on that also. So think about what you can do. You probably don't have a horse in your backyard. Maybe you have a dog that you can walk, or maybe you have a bike you can ride, or shooting hoops, or whatever you can do to get outside and unplug we think is good and healthy for you. So we'll see you again next time on Farm Life. This time, sign it's a lot in. of fun to hear from Mr. Persley uh, at his home, beautiful farm, and it's a great message on screen time, Mr. Persley. Thanks for your contribution. Uh, I got to tell you, Falcons, our staff members so far have had a blast reaching out to you through episode one of the Summit Show. But my thought is, is we'd really like to get some students involved. So here's what I'm asking you to do. Give some thought to uh, some topics or some features that you think um, would be great opportunities for students, uh, for students to get involved in. 
And uh, if you want to send me a Canvas message uh, with some ideas on how students can get involved in um, this show, the summit show, submitting videos uh, to me to put um, to place into each episode, I would uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, tomorrow's episode of the Summit Show to be aired on Thursday, March the 19th, uh, will feature some familiar faces. We've got a piece on Speedwing, the school's mascot, wondering what Speedwing might be up to on these days of extended e-learning. Uh, here's a great piece. We're looking forward to sharing with you the dad joke of the day. Sure to be hilarious or possibly very dry. Uh, and then finally a piece on just going outside um, and spending time in nature. So you have that lot to look forward to. We've got some staff members going to share with you through those um, features and segments. Finally, uh, I hope this to be um, a regular feature as we close each episode. I've got the trivia question of the day. Are you ready? Here goes. Before I share it with you, I want you to know uh, that the uh, student with the correct answer to first reach out to me via Canvas message with the correct answer will be denoted the winner of the very first trivia question of the day here on the Summit Show. Uh, I will respond only to the winner, and that will be the person with the correct answer to hit me with the Canvas message first. Here is the trivia question of the day. Are you ready? Here we go. Man rides into town on Friday. Three days later, rides out of town on Friday. How is this possible? Okay, first correct answer to be messaged to me via Canvas message um, will be denoted the winner, recognized on the next episode of the Summit Show. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of the Summit Show. I do challenge you to commit to SOAR in all that you do and everywhere you go. Be safe, be organized, be accountable, and be respectful. And let's be happy today and make it a great Wednesday.